Hi friends, it's Peepo here, but you should already know that this is my YouTube channel, so let's get started. Welcome back to our playthrough of Faith, the Unholy Trinity. Uh, last episode, the first episode, we played through chapter one and we got ending one of five. Today we are back to retrieve <laughs> the remaining four endings, as well as I believe we unlocked a new game mode and a new background last time, so I'd like to check those out together. So let's get into it. First things first, background. So we had this background all of last episode. We have this one, <laughs> wonderful. I kind of like it actually. That, oh yeah, mm-hmm, unpleasant. That, oh my God, shut up, anime priests. No way. <laughs> I love the anime priests. Is that Father Alred? Oh my God, shut up. <laughs> we might have to leave that as a, I, I might have to. Oh, this is actually really cute. Okay, cute little simple art style, little demon, love it. And then uh, no background. Okay, well, uh, I have to do the anime priests. I, I don't really have a choice, so sorry. Oh my god, <laughs> it's amazing. It's just amazing. And so we are playing chapter one again. Um, we got 16 out of 20 notes last time. I don't know if we need all 20 notes. Oh my god, we they let us continue from okay, this is perfect. So I as much as I wanted to be very organic in our discovery of the different endings, I didn't want to waste our time. So I took a little peeky peek into what the remaining endings were. And um lucky for us. Uh-huh, with one bullet. Um basically for chapter one anyway, all five endings that you can get have to do with who we choose to shoot with the gun. So, last time we walked on over and we shot Amy, right? And that got us the murderer ending. Um, let's see what other paths we have. Okay, we have to go down first, fine. Let us see what our other options are. Okay, oh, the well, all right. Um, I don't think I can exercise anything right now, but I do want to find the remaining notes for us. There's only four left, and I think that's super doable, but I don't know if I will be able to find them with the gun in my hands, and I don't want to waste the bu bullet. <gasps> you know what this looks like? Wait, do you guys remember in... in the, our playthrough of chapter one, how I looked at myself in the bedroom mirror and said it looked like there was something behind me? Is this... Did I waste the bullet? Oh no, wait. I didn't know he would run. Oh, oh my God. Hey girl. Hey girl, oh, I have my crucifix back. Hey girl, okay. Um, oh no! <laughs> Can I crucify you? Or, uh, not crucify. Exercise you? Power of Christ. Hum, 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 hum. Damn it. Um, so I think I'm gonna... <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to start us over. Oh shoot. Okay, let's, um, let's try this again. Now what the hell are you? I don't know. Do we get to find out? Can't go in the shed anymore. Okay, well, now we leave. We've shot what looked like my shadow. I don't care what the game says n up upcoming. That was definitely the thing behind us in the mirror before. I'm almost positive now. Okie dokie. On to the car. I don't know why I needed to can't mind that, but whatever. Here we go. All right, what did we shoot? 
What did I get? I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Father and son. <gasps> the white, the what? Uh, that ran off. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I didn't see that coming. I was hoping we'd get an opportunity to shoot the white demon from the first, from, from our playthrough of chapter one, but maybe we'll have to wait a little bit longer for that. I hope at some point in, in one of the chapters of this game, we get to shoot that white demon because he caused me far too much emotional mental distress to get away unscathed. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. Oh, does this count as one of the notes we didn't get? <gasps> Maybe. In the past few weeks, I've made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness... Wait, are we Michael? Are we Michael? I could be talking about us. I don't know. Did that thing pose it? It doesn't matter. I don't know. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with an increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photo is missing. <gasps> oh, I'm sure that that's for the best, but I really want to see that photo. On to the next ending. <gasps> okay, on to our next kill. <laughs> what do we hunt in the woods this time, I wonder? Um, so the last one was... we. You know, we didn't actually get an answer as to what we shot, but whatever we shot did result in us... Um, Perhaps if our name is Michael, which I don't know if it is. I thought our name was David. Either way, you were there. Why am I re-explaining? You were there. <gasps> um, you know, last time this thing spoke. But it was already dead. Okay, I mean, okay, I guess. All right, to the car, on we go. Wow, what what impressive skill I am, I have. I, I should be a, I should be a sniper assassin with with that kind of incredible aim to be able to shoot something already dead and unmoving. Immaculate skills. What the hell is that gonna- what- how is that going to do anything? Ah, <laughs> uh, The offering. I- I do not understand, but I getcha. I getcha. So, are there... Multiple demons? I guess Amy was possessed, and also there's a shadow demon we shot. There's just demons all over this place. Wherever we are in the world right now, this town infested. But I guess I interrupted some cults summoning ritual and I should have just stayed out of their business deal with my own demons I guess I don't know
that's enough of that, I think. Um... Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. The cultists are responsible. Oh my god. I know you're only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you're able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. Oh, this is gross. We're having a get together at the clinic Saturday night. I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there, Gary. Ew. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. You nasty. Ew. Stop talking to 16 year old girls. 17 year old, doesn't matter. Stop, knock it off. Gary, freak, gross. On to the next ending. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that a fun spooky time, everybody? Yes, thank you. I, uh, I think what an intriguing turn of events because I had assumed that Amy got possessed you know, accidentally, as teens do by, I don't know, playing with a Ouija board at a sleepover or something, you know? Not that um, during her volunteer work, some creep told her she was very mature for her age. Wow, you're like practically an adult. And um, in, in, in indoctrinated her into a cult. Oh, I don't like this one. I don't want to do this one. Don't look. Don't look. I have to, but don't look. Jesus. It just... God. Just exploded. I'm censoring that shit. I know it's pixel gore. I don't care. I'm censoring it. It's my video. Rest in pieces. All right, back to the car. What was I talking about? I don't know. Now I'm bummed. That bummed me out. All right, what are you doing I now? I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Divine justice. Divine justice. Divine justice. The hunter. You know what? Okay, I thought I was gonna hate that one. I approve, I approve. 10 out of 10, you were right for that. The site of a deadly car crash accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Hill Meadow Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car, deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It has been noted the body had been, quote, mangled beyond recognition. Investigators are suspecting this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. I don't really know why that last bit mattered, but okay. Were they just kind of like, ha, you got ejected and then murdered by a deer and also your weak little bitch because you couldn't even carry all 75 pounds of meat? What? I don't know. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. But go off, I guess. Okay, so. We've shot and Amy. With one bullet. Shut the hell up, bitch. We've shot the fox, we've shot the shadow, we've shot the deer. I guess we gotta go find a fifth. Let's, um. 
Let's go. Well, maybe we can leave without shooting anything. Do you think they'd like that? I guess we'll find out. I'll do a little bit of exploring, see if we can find a fifth victim out here somewhere. Um, it seems like now that the forest has rearranged itself, it's given us some really nice clear-cut paths. I think that was the fox and that was the deer. Um, it's given us some nice clear paths and that's where all of our targets have been located. So I feel like if there is a fifth, they'll just give it to me. And they didn't, so do we leave? I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God is he my will trust. I shall not be I don't know. afraid I'm just doing of the terror in the night. Over the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. When faith endures. That, I think, was the perfect ending to wrap this up on. That felt like the conclusion to an 80s horror movie. Uh, love that. Love that little monologue at the end. Police animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PhD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling Chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. Quote, as a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. Quote, this is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owner or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Well, there we go. I thought we were gonna have to wait longer to get our vengeance on the crawling white demon. I'm so glad I was wrong. That was so satisfying genuinely had me shook as you could see i didn't see that coming but i loved it not only did we get to shoot it but it got run over by a truck by a fucking semi that was awesome that was probably the most satisfying way we could have ended this and i am thoroughly pleased i hope that you are as well i hope that you've enjoyed all of the endings um and are looking forward to chapter two which will be starting next episode Thank you so much for watching this. If you did enjoy it, please let me know down below with a like or a comment. And as always, I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye.